Okay, Hans, you ready for action? Mike! We can hardly back down after that speech the other day. I'm holding you to your promise. They covered up the kidnapping, right? After you worked so hard to get all the details. It's not just this case, either. All coverage of House Rand Grease undergoes a harsh check. Honestly, the information control is insane. Now that you mention it, you don't normally read about House Rand Grease in the paper. Personally, I'm a lot more interested in Her Highness than in her family. I want to interview Cordelia about her life. Ask about hobbies, the food she likes, boys. I mean, she's just a girl. She has to think about these things. Yeah, I'm a little curious too. Right? And getting people the information they want is a journalist's job. So, I'll be infiltrating Castle Randgrees. What? Explain that logic to me. There's no way I'd ever get permission. Well, if fighting fair won't work, you cheat. Are you sure you'll be all right? Oh, I'll be fine. I'll have Hans with me as a bodyguard. Right, Hans? Hey, Mike? Mike? Let's go, pork chop. Castle walls can't keep the truth in! Front page headline, true face of Cordelia unveiled. I can see it now. Everybody gather round. I've got our orders. The target is on Galia's northern coast. The enemy's entrenched along the shore flanking the industrial region up north. Squad 7 has been given one of their camps at Marbury to suppress. Hmm. Looking at the map, seems there's nothing there but big cliffs and open sand. As you approach the cliffs, the beach slopes up steeply. Their camp is at the top. The path leading up there is narrow, meaning infantry will have to take the lead here. That said, they've lined the cliffside with gunnery to combat incoming foot soldiers. You telling us to dodge bullets running across an open beach with nothing for cover? Boss, I may be catty, but I ain't got nine lives here. Stop your complaining. We're soldiers, Rosie. Ain't no such thing as a safe mission. Dangerous or not, it's our job to get the job done as best we can. You don't gotta... I know that, all right? You're right. If we just charge in, you'll be facing a hailstorm of bullets. Welkin, any more brilliant ideas for another of your crazy plans? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't have any silver bullets for this one. What we need is some way to blind the enemy while we advance. A way to... Blind them. Ugh, this is just great. Come on, let's stay positive about this. Tomorrow's the Feast of All Spirits. Combat on the feast, huh? We sure got some kind of luck, don't we? Well, getting down about it now won't help anything. Let's just do what we can. If we could... Hmm. They may not need nine lives. Somebody said tomorrow's the feast, right? I forgot all about it this year. Hey now, do you guys even know the reason for this holiday? Reason? It's the day you give presents to the guy you like, ain't it? 
Yes, but no. The Feast of All Spirits is the day all the spirits in Galia share their love. They say the practice of giving gifts to those you love came from that belief. Back in the day, people gave presents to everyone important to them, not just lovers. Bingo! Give the man a prize! For a big grizzly bear, you sure know your stuff. How gracious of you to say. <laughs> Though I like to think I'm more of a teddy bear. Largo, Rosie, may I have a moment? Sure. I'm surprised to see you in the lounge. What's up? Would you accept these gifts? This is... from before. These dolls are darks and good luck charms. I wanted to give them to you and Rosie. Why to us? I... I've always wanted to be your friend, from the first day. We may have had our share of disagreements, but you've helped me more than I can say. I'd like to use the feast as an opportunity to grow a little closer to both of you. I see. You know, seeing Fausen gave me a lot to think about. Plus, I... you know, I've been wanting to talk to you for a while now, too. For being so young, you got some perspective. Still a little bullheaded, though. Thanks for the lucky charm. And for coming out here, Isara. Largo, thank you so much. I... I can't take it. Rosie, you ain't a kid here. Quit being so damn stubborn already. You shut it! I just... Look, I got no need for presents from dark hairs, okay? I understand. I'm sorry. I'll be on my way now. Yeah, I think I'm done too. Look, I know you've been wanting to apologize. Just out and say it already, damn it. Look, shut up. I know, okay? I know, but I. I can't just change overnight. I'm not that big a person. <laughs> Intruder! She's headed for the audience hall! After her! Phew! Managed to shake him. Now, where's that princess? Mike? Mike! Hmm? What's wrong with you, Hans? Bingo! Cordelia, in the flesh! <sighs> Princess Cordelia, heiress to the Principality. Why the sad look? Ah! Hans! No! You can't go that way! Wrong! What? Ew! Piglet? Did you escape from the kitchen? Oh, it's fine. This is the real me, after all. Her hair is... she's Darkson? <laughs> Have you been outside recently? How is it? Fun? Are the people well? I wish I could come and go as I pleased. I wish... 
I'd love to speak with him again. Mike? Though, if he saw me as you do now, I do wonder how he might react. Your Highness! Will you keep my secret, Piglet? Known only to you and me. I am here. Give me a moment's time. We just landed the scoop of the millennium here, Hans. Mark! Uh, right? It's just too open. We need some kind of plan. Welcome. Mark. What happened to you? You're covered in dirt, Alicia. Yeah, <laughs> funny story about that. Anyway, I've got something I want to show you. Come see. Look real close at my hands. That's... You found a mottled vagabond. They're migratory butterflies, but... They shouldn't be in Galia at this time of year. It's pretty rare, then? They call it a vagabond because it never stays in one place. They're hard to find. I've tried to hunt one down more than once before, but I never had any luck. Then you like it? Absolutely. Thank you, Alicia. But you've still got to tell me how you found it. I I'm amazed. Me and Hans caught it. Mark! You and Hans? Wait, is all that dirt? <laughs> I've never been bug hunting before. I got a little mud plastered. I mean, tomorrow's the Feast of All Spirits. I wanted to get you something you'd like. I brainstormed on what you might like best, and this is what I finally came up with. Wow. Thank you. Not the most romantic gift ever, but it seemed right for you. You went to all that trouble for me? Thank you, Alicia. I'm happy I got to see such a rare specimen, but I'm even happier at the sentiment. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Um, Welkin? They say if you give a present to the guy you like on the feast, things will go well for you. I hope things go well for the two of us. I, I mean... Huh? I... Me too. Sara, I don't think Rosie really meant to hurt you. No, I... I know that, Mr. Zaka. But I do wonder if dreams of a future in which we're all equal will only bring pain. No, <laughs> don't get impatient on me. Getting close to somebody takes time, Isara. People don't just change overnight. That said, nothing in this world doesn't change. Yes, I know. Even if slowly, change will happen. Exactly. So don't let it get you down. She's just worked up over tomorrow's operation. Tomorrow's op? Oh, that's right! I need to speak with Welks about the plan. What plan? You come up with a solution for those guns? 
If we modify something I've been developing, it may provide our ground troops protection. I'll go speak with Welks about it now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, Isara. And she's gone. Those two really are siblings. They get into something and they're in their own world. Hey, Welkin. Do you think Miss Ellet's doing all right? With her? Who knows? I just hope she's not stuck in some jail. Who's in jail? Miss Ellet! You're all right! Welcome home! Did you get your scoop? You bet! Bigger than even I imagined. But I can't share it just yet. What? Why not? Now I'm curious. A gal can't publish an article until she's got solid proof to back it up. I don't want to shoot from the hip here just to get the recognition. I'm in the service of truth, not fame. That's my journalist code. Wow, you make trespassing seem noble. <laughs> in any case, stay tuned for more. And you, little piggy, have a nose for news. You're a natural-born journalist. Hey, Link! Hey, boss. We, uh, got a plan today? Well, Isara and I came up with a little something last night. Speaking of, Isara still isn't here, is she? I apologize for being late. Welks, it's done! You finished in time. Yes, these smoke rounds should help keep our foot soldiers safe from fire. Smoke rounds? A new type of tank cannon rounds. They don't do any damage, but they create a smoke screen. If we run through those, we'll be able to move without being sighted. And you just finished them now? <laughs> so you didn't sleep at all last night, huh? The Sevens are like my family. Alicia, Rosie, Largo, Mr. Zaka, Welks, little Hans too. I don't want... None of you can die. If those smoke screens can protect you even a little, it'll be well worth it. Isara, you... Nice going, kiddo. With these things, we'll be practically invisible. Yeah, this battle just got a lot less scary. Thanks, Isara. All right, let's get ready. Squad 7, move out! <laughs>